Last year I designed a ventilation system for my Bamboo X1C and I've been using it ever since. My printer sits in my office, so the fumes, especially from PLA, used to give me a headache. This system helped a lot, but when summer hits and the heat kicks in, the stock ventilator just isn't strong enough. So from the start, I planned to add an inline fan. That on its own didn't need a redesign, but there were a few things I wanted to improve anyway. I wanted an electronically controlled valve that could be automated with smart things. So let's start with that. For electronics, I went with a switch bot. It's a tiny gadget that makes regular switches smart. It's smart things compatible and has a moving arm, so I just had to figure out how to mount it on top of the vent. Unboxing and tearing it down was simple. The board looks screwed in, but it's actually just glued to a plate. After removing some tiny screws, I was able to get to the motor and gears. And it goes out just like that. That motor shaft, perfect. I knew immediately how to integrate it with the flap. The battery connectors just slide out. So I designed a new housing based on the original. Same structure but open on top to connect with the flap. I modeled it directly onto the original vent. Added notches to help with assembly later on. Then I printed test parts and stages. Saves time and material. Needed to shift the shaft cut out a little bit, but after that things started fitting well. I already added the holder for the battery. The motor assembly slotted in perfectly. The connector fit too, but needed a little more clearance. I fixed those in the next revision, including a door to close everything off. And I can see I need to move the cutout for the shaft bit to the left. Three magnets were never enough, so I added more to hold it in more spots. I also recentered the shaft hole and added notches to the hose connection. Little bit of update on the shaft here and some branding on the door. Then I realized why not just print the valve housing and flap as one part. OK parts are printed. I will have to use the variable height for the final print for the flap. The other parts look pretty good. While installing the motor, I accidentally ripped a wire, so I had to solder it back. I'm terrible at soldering, but it works. I also reshaped the flap insert hole into a cone. It helps a ton when installing the flap. It was real pain to slide it in without this update. The shaft hole looked decent, maybe next print I'll do 0.2 for a smoother fit.
Last thing I have to do is remove the flap guards, which kind of sucked. They made the valve airtight. I added variable layer height this time around. The electronics are in and I can now control the flap from my phone. The SwitchBot motor actually needs to hit a physical stopper, otherwise it just spins twice and stops on its own. I tried setting it in the app, but the custom mode is time-based. It just opens, waits, then closes. That's no good. I need it to stay open or closed until I tell it to move. Right now, the flap just rotates freely because there's nothing to stop it. So let's add a stopper. And another update on the flap so it fits perfectly on the motor shaft. Again, I print just the little part to check the fitment. The conic hole helped a lot. It makes inserting the flap way easier. Here's the final print and assembly. The top board and connector now fit perfectly. It would be nice to add a longer wire for the battery connector, but honestly, I don't want to deal with soldering again. It works fine, and it'll be hidden behind the access door anyway. Here's exactly how the SwitchBot behaves. Once it hits the stopper, it backs off just a little. That's actually why I had to remove the flap guards. They made it airtight, but they blocked the motor from finding its stopping point. Hopefully, it still seals well enough without them. Now let's remove the old flap system from the door, install the new one, and put everything together. And that's it. This part is finished, and it works perfectly. I always felt the internal fan just wasn't strong enough to push all the odor out of the printer, so I finally decided to add an inline fan. I got this one on Amazon. It's typically used for indoor gardening. It's actually pretty big. And at first I thought it only worked on the highest setting, which I didn't love. But turns out it does start on low speed too, so we're good. Next step, make an adapter to connect it to the hose. I just modified the coupler I designed for version 1 of the system. It fits great, just needs to be a bit tighter. It's the same on both sides, so I printed two of them to connect the fan in line. The original hose came as a two-pack, but I could only find one, so I had to split it in half. It's got a metal wire inside, so I had to cut through that too. And here's the full assembly. I just need to adjust the hoses to fit the printer in the door, but splitting it in two made that way easier. Honestly, it turned out pretty good. I even managed to fit my poop chute in there. Now I just need to figure out where to mount the speed controller once I move the printer back into place. Alright, everything works now, but I still wanted to make it a little smarter. You can link your SwitchBot account to SmartThings and then control it through the app, including creating custom routines to open the vent. Right now the vent can be opened manually by pressing a button, but I wanted some automation. My first idea was to trigger the routine based on energy usage, so I got an energy monitoring smart outlet. But I found out too late that it doesn't actually pass energy data into SmartThings. You can see the energy usage in their own apps, but not in SmartThings. I even tried using IFTTT as a workaround, but CASA doesn't support any triggers there. Eventually I found a forum post with a working solution. You need to add the CASA devices locally to SmartThings using something called the CASA Matter Edge driver. Once installed, SmartThings lets you re-add the same devices, but this time they show the energy usage. Yes, the device is duplicated, but now I can trigger routines based on power draw. Let's check how much the Bamboo X1C pulls when preheating. At idle, it's about 9 watts. When preheating, it jumps to around 300 watts. So setting the trigger at 100 or 150 watts should be perfect. Now for the next hurdle. 
The SwitchBot vent motor didn't show up in SmartThings, even though the accounts were linked. Turns out you need the dedicated SwitchBot hub for that. It's around 29 bucks on Amazon, but I'm sure it can be found cheaper on eBay. Once I added the hub and linked it in the app, the SwitchBot device finally appeared. Now I was able to add it to SmartThings and create the automation routine. So now, when the printer draws 150 watts, the vent opens automatically. Not sure if you can see it on camera, but it blinks briefly when opening or closing. Which brings me to future version 3 of the vent system. I definitely need to add a visual indicator, a lever, or maybe a rotary dial. Just something to clearly show whether the vent is open or closed. Right now there's no way to tell. Overall, I'm genuinely impressed with how this entire build turned out. What started as a simple idea to improve airflow ended up becoming a fully integrated smart ventilation system for the printer. The automation works great once everything is properly set up. There's no need to think about opening or closing the vent manually anymore. And the inline fan absolutely exceeded my expectations. It fits perfectly into the system and has more than enough power to pull all the fumes out of the chamber. Once it kicks in, there's no chance for any odors or fumes to escape into the room. It's a night and day difference from relying on just the internal fan. And as I promised in the last video, I'll be sharing the STL files this time. Check the description for the link. I'm not sure yet if I'll upload them to Maker World or another repository. All the parts fit on three plates, and total print time is about 15 hours with a 0.4 nozzle and 0.2 layer height. Before you go, hit that subscribe button and smash that like button if you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to check out my other videos. Thanks for watching.